Flatby, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And now we are witnessing the sunrise as of Super Flat Vanilla. So beautiful. And if you have noticed, I have also made a bunch of major works uh, off camera. I ran to that village over there. I also ran to that village over there. I grabbed some more lava. I cast in some more obsidian. Uh, I did lose some of the lava, but now I do only have a few lava left. So I think I'm going to use the redstone glitch right now with the remaining four redstone that I have to finish it up. Um, in addition to that, let me just climb up to show you because I don't want to go. Um, I don't really want to go to that village over there, but uh, if you can see that, there's a bunch of, um, to the right, uh, if you look at the village over there, there's a bunch of glass floating in the air, uh, and that's basically what I did off-camera. Uh, I did quite a bit of off-camera work, and as you can see, there's less gravel paths, because I actually decided to start deconstructing this whole village, and soon enough, this whole village will stop existing. I'm just going to break it all up. Um, I had extremely major issues with slime spawnings. However, I did um, manage to destroy um, um, some uh, smelting houses over there, just uh, one large house, uh, one small house over there, um, just a couple houses, but uh, I don't really get really far. Oh, I did destroy two churches. I, there were two churches right there, which I destroyed, and it was actually quite efficient because I was actually gathering cobblestone at that time, So, uh, and I really get bored getting cobblestone just from my cobblestone generator, uh, but of course, when I get more redstone, I'm going to make an automatic one. Yeah an automatic AFK grind, uh, cobblestone generator, so, uh, but in the meantime, I did destroy some of the areas over there, and I also want to replace all these gravel patches with dirt, uh, just because I have a lot of dirt, uh, left over from, uh, digging the tunnels and the access points, uh, in addition to that, I also want to fill up all the gravel paths with, uh, dirt so then soon enough this village won't have anything left but a trace of it and some of you may ask why i left the glass panes up and the reason for that is maybe sometime when i get a silk touch pickaxe i plan on silk touching the glass pane so i can get more glass uh, because glass is very hard to combine this um, survival world and just for fun i just want to leave the glass just i guess like that um so i just I came up with this idea of using redstone here, so if my calculations are correct, I'm gonna put up down a redstone here, and when I place a lava source right here, I should be able to get another obsidian up here without actually losing the lava. Uh, I really hope that this doesn't destroy the redstone, because I really need more redstone. Uh, well, I guess I could go and trade some more, I think. Yeah, I'm not truly really sure. I think the, the trade with the priest is... Um, it's not locked, but uh, I still do need redstone, so here goes nothing. Um, okay. So, yeah. Well, this didn't really go out as I expected it would. Um, I was actually able to cast a piece of obsidian, however, I did not lose... I did lose the lava source, but I did not lose the redstone, which is great, because uh, my biggest fear was that I was going to lose both the redstone and the lava source, so... Uh, at least I still have my redstone, so... I guess that's a positive thing. Um... But it is quite of a nuisance, because I didn't have to fill up this block as well. And I actually have no idea how I'm going to do this. Um, oh, darn. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to have... Uh, I'm going to have to have some water flowing on top of the... Uh, lava source so or should i probably oh i'm probably going to do once again the uh obsidian glitch once more so to do that i'm gonna go like that uh i don't really know the mechanics of this very well so please bear with me um okay maybe this is how it's gonna go out and I'm also using dirt just because dirt is the easiest to uh, break once I need to break it, so. Uh, so I place this right here. I should be able to place 
Uh, I should be able to place a redstone right here. Oh, darn it. But then that means that I won't be able to access... Yeah, this is really bad. I should have not placed this block of obsidian there. I might have just lost the lava source right there, so... Um, but the positive side is that I mean, we do have practically infinite villages, so if I do run out of lava, my last resort option would be to just explore more, more, villager, uh, more villages to find more lava, so. Uh, or maybe, maybe I could go something like this. Maybe that way I could uh, place the lava right here so it flow down and contact over there. Let's just go and try that real quick, and if this works, this is going to be a real godsend, because uh, I'm kind of worried that we just messed up here a bit. Uh, I think this is going to mess up a bit even more, but who knows. Here goes nothing. There we go. And if you just saw that, we actually got a piece of obsidian to... Uh, appear there without actually losing the lava. Uh, of course, we did lose the redstone, but, you know, um, we could get more by trading, so. Uh, that was actually quite scary. I really thought that we were going to lose both the... Um, I thought that I'm going to have to sit here and punch this block of obsidian for, like, um, for, like, uh, two minutes straight just to destroy it because I messed up, but... Uh, looks like I did not mess up. So now we, we're going to have to put another obsidian right here. And then so we're going to need three more. So uh, we do only have one lava bucket left. So I'm thinking. So we do have three more redstone left. So technically we can use the rest of the redstone to make the, uh, the whole portal run. But on the other hand, I don't really want to waste redstone either because I'm really low on redstone and I do really want to get that... Oh, fine, my pickaxe broke. Uh, like I said, I do really want to get our AFK automatic uh, cobblestone generator, so I do want to hold back on the redstone for a bit. And wow, here's a witch. That's very helpful. Let's hope it drops some redstone. Um, I did kill some more witches while I was running to the village and back. Oh, there's two. Um, most likely they won't give us redstone because they do give us redstone very rarely. Ah, uh, yeah. This is why I go like this. Yeah, I just have to kill them real quick. If I don't pay attention to the grinder too much, um, it can actually spawn lots of witches. I think one time I was AFKing. Oh, we got sugar. Not bad, not bad. I was actually thinking... Oh, actually, let me just finish my last thought. Um, l like I said, um, I'm going to finish my last thought. And uh, one time in Skyblock, I think, I AFK'd for uh, a few hours or so. And then my, my grinder had so many witches that they were just overfilling. And I wasn't able to kill all the witches. And the witches actually killed me. So uh, that was great. I spent a whole 30 minutes trying to kill the witches because they would just always kill me with their uh, potions and stuff. So... Okay, let me just take some more bones and craft that in real quick. Um, let me fill up. Yes, this dispenser is now filled up. This one is filled up as well. Um, now, these aren't f fully filled because I've been actually using this to make more carrots. And my carrots do run out fairly quickly, as also because I keep on running around the villages too. So, that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, another thing that I looked at is that I was actually wrong that in 1.7.10 I was I said that I was going to trade the rotten flesh but I forgot that rotten flesh trades only exist uh, in 1.8 so rotten flesh is as good as useless in this let's play so I think I'll have a lot of it and as soon as I fill two chests of it right here I'm just gonna start getting rid of it or putting it in the, uh, in the other chest um, I also think oh we could get some armor <gasps> oh we got a tunic Oh, and we got even a cap. Okay, please drop some enchanted gold arm. Please, please, please. Well, we didn't get lucky this time, but we did get lucky the last time, so. Uh, also, the most useless drops are going to be rotten flesh and gunpowder. I think I'm going to use these as junk items for redstone circuits. Um, the only really useful items that we get from this grinder are uh, the arrows for shooting, uh, the string for wool, and the bones for the... Um, bone mealing of these uh, seeds um, and making a food so um, and then of course we get the redstone glowstone and all the witch drops are probably the most uh, 
um, expensive for me. So um, now I think I'm gonna go and get some more uh, lava, and to do that, I have to empty this bucket first. Um, then I'm gonna empty this lava bucket somewhere in a holding chamber, and this is my lava holding chamber right here. Okay, we got another witch spawn there. Uh, now let me put away my leather tunic and stuff like that. Uh, and oh, by the way, did I mention that when we get an automatic um, fish farm, we're actually going to be able to make uh, leather armor, and I'm gonna be able to dye the leather armor out of the uh, um. Uh, die farm over there, the bone meal die farm over there, so uh, that's gonna be great. Okay, let me just make sure that this is all organized here, uh, which is which is not really organized. Um, now, as of this moment, I think I can put away the stone sword into my broken tools section just so I can craft one more real quick, which is great because now we have an even amount of an even amount of sticks and that's exactly what I'm searching for to have an even amount of sticks because that way it's hard to craft things without an even amount of sticks uh, most crafts including pickaxes do require even amounts of sticks okay did we get oh we got some glowstone so that means oh we actually got more than one glowstone so that's actually quite nice uh, that means we're gonna be able to craft up some more um, that means that we're gonna be able to craft up another piece of uh, glowstone another piece of glowstone block right here and we have one excess one there um okay why is this poison lasting so long this really should not last that long uh, i actually wonder what why i want to go on the wiki and read up what actually makes the poison last a certain amount of time because sometimes the poison effect only lasts a few seconds probably like two seconds at the least and the most that i saw was like something like uh 15 or so seconds i think it depends on how uh how close the splash potion actually gets to you when the witch drops it so um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not but I also put this little uh, edge um, cobblestone wall here and I did not want to extend it over there because what if I built some other stuff over there so this is just so it would look nice and good uh, now let me go down and then place that glowstone block wow so rare so rare uh, as of uh, right now, I do have very limited glowstone resources, but like I said before, as soon as I get to the nether, I'm going to have much more glowstone. Um, so I'm even thinking about putting some glowstone in the middle somewhere around here, so it would be a completely lit lit pool. So, um, Yeah, I can't really see much. Killing squids is much easier when I can see something. So it's... Uh, it's even actually quite bright here, even during the nighttime, when it's nighttime on the surface, so... Okay, now this is the hard part. I actually don't really know where I'm going to place the glowstone, but I'm just going to follow the symmetric area right here. And then, again, another third installation of our lighting up the squid pool. Uh, we did get 14 ink sacks from that. Now, I like to jump down here. As long as I have enough health, I almost die there. And as you can see, I did make quite a bit of effort on cleaning up the village and um, eliminating those uh, gravel paths because there used to be a gravel path that goes something like right here around this house here. So I think the next house I'm going to just deconstruct is this one. Then after that, that one I'm going to sweep through. And I think the only house I'm going to leave is the well right there and the house right there, which is my base. And I'm also going to make sure that there's no doors there just in case when I create an artificial village trading center and village breeder in my base so that um, they don't actually register that as uh, a village. So, And I'm also deconstructing it, first of all, just for fun, because I I get bored with this world, and I just like to deconstruct a village. I've never actually broken a whole village, and it's just amazing to see a whole village wiped off the map. So that's what I'm planning to do. Uh, now let me just go and collect some drops from here, sort them out into the chest. Yes, and I'm going to take these and put them to the bulk storage chest, but I'm not going to do that on camera because it's a bit boring, so... Um, let me add some more... Um, okay, now we have quite a bit of them completely full. This one's completely full, this one's completely full, this one's... This one is completely full, but we do have quite a ways to go in these two as well, so. But I'm kind of running out of carrots, so I think sooner or, or later I will have to bone meal some more, so. Uh, well, the thing that I can do as of now is uh, place down 
some of these ink sacks right here, and I, and I already have almost a stack. Now, I did get four iron bars from the villages that I raided and got the lava from, so uh, right now I'm going to sleep just because I don't want to go to the villages while it's nighttime because they can be under zombie sieges. And like I said before, I do prize the villages and make sure that they don't die. Uh, now let me grab some wheat with me just in case, and wow, that's completely three stacks, just amazing. So just in case, um, so just in case when I, uh, reach the village so I can trade. Uh, now I'm not sure, I think there are two blacksmiths over there, so, um, it's gonna kind of suck if it ends up that there's no blacksmiths there, because I really do need a blacksmith there for the lava, but it's okay, if there is no blacksmith, we'll just go further and, um, and we'll just find a village past that, and hopefully that one will have a blacksmith. So, um, this is quite a bit of journey, and it's really beautiful to see my giant base and mob grinder and squid lake disappear into the distance. And also notice how high the clouds are. The reason is, like I said before, is we're real, real. We are really, really low down since this is Y4, and that is also the reason why squid spawn so high up, uh, because we're very, very low than. We're much lower compared to the um, sea level in Minecraft, which is like 62 or something. Okay, now we're now we already can see the village coming out there. Um, now we need three more lava sources, so I'm thinking that we could grab one from here. Uh, oh, I mean two, actually. Yeah, we're gonna grab two from here, and I'm also gonna grab one lava source from uh, my cobblestone generator, which is inside the. Um, completely dead out village, the village that's right next to my base. In that village, I have that little mini base, which was my first base. Well, actually, technically, that wasn't my first base. I had a base before that, but that wasn't a village that I completely lost, so. Um, okay, I already can see the blacksmith. Or did I already pick up the lava from here? Well, it kind of sucks if I did. Uh, yeah, looks like I already picked up the lava from here. Uh, now let's see, maybe we could get to trade with some of the villagers. Or is there another blacksmith here? Oh yes, there. here's another one. I was about to say that I remember that I almost took okay, a die. I was about to say that I remember having another blacksmith here. And here's another two lava sources, which is great. Uh, now whenever I get these lava sources, I also break the cobblestone blocks right here. And I also collect the iron bars because they're very expensive since I don't have any iron. Uh, of course, they're going to be very cheap when I get an iron farm, but that's kind of far out. So uh, now I'm going to go and see my villager that is supposed to be trading um, wheat with me. So... Okay, where's my wheat villager? And here he is. Okay, there we go. We got some three. Okay, can we trade some more? Yep. Oh, no, I think, yeah. Yep, I think that the trade is now locked. So, yep, that's a locked trade. Uh, he does offer some cooked chicken, so I'm not really sure if I should buy that or not. Um, careful not to fall in there. Um... Let's see and look at the other villager trades. I don't think there's any other villagers um, buying wheat in this village because I did go through many other villagers and made sure that there's no uh, villager farmers trading wheat. Okay, it looks like there's some more villagers. Maybe there's some villagers in the house. Okay. This is not good. Um, okay, I did dig a ditch here just so I could gather some... Uh, um, dirt there, so let me see. Um, yeah, looks like we're not going to be able to uh, sell any more wheat, so that is kind of a pity. I really did want to sell some more wheat. Okay, what about you? Yeah, most of them have the same trades. Okay. Okay, move, move out. Okay, there we go, finally. Um, lots of librarian. Um, so I think the thing that I can do as of right now is I can go and try to... Okay, maybe this one. Nope. Oh, come on. That, this is supposed to be a common trade. Where are all of the farmers here? Um, well, I think the only thing that I can do now is I can go... Or maybe that I encase some more of them. I don't think that there's any here. Yeah, that did not work out too well for me, so... Um, 
okay, now I'm actually going to buy some cooked chicken from him just so I can unlock another trade. Um, oh, I actually need shears, so that would be kind of useful. Well, we did get something from him at least. We got some shears, so let's see. Oh, we should wait a few seconds until the next trade unlocks. Or is the shears the last trade? Yeah, looks like the shears are the last trade, and now we unlock the first trade, so yay. We could get some more emeralds right now, so we did not lose much. We can get more emeralds, and we did get some cooked chicken and shears, so. This trading mission was quite efficient, um, despite the fact that uh, a creeper did blow up and almost kill me. I'm quite satisfied now that I have shears and stuff like that. Um, this is going to be an outpost for a village. We did get two lava buckets, so... Um, I actually did get killed by a slime while I was uh, off-camera, so that was really great. Um, um, I was actually standing inside a blacksmith, and the uh, slime managed to kind of, like, glitch inside a bit, and then I did not know who was hitting me, and I kind of was cornered in, the, in a corner. And if um, you're on hard mode, and it only takes about... Actually, if you're in a hard mode, a, a giant slime can take three hearts damage away from you. So that means that it takes only about three or so hits from a large slime to kill you. And I was already on low health, so the slime kind of hit me two times. And it was only in a split second, and then I guess what? I was already dead. So um, while I was building... While I was deconstructing the village uh, right next to my base, I did manage to get to level 37 in experience, but uh, I did lose most of that experience when I died, so... Uh, yeah. Now I'm gonna come to back to my base and finish up the rest of my casting. Um, now, inside my mini base over there, I have another cobblestone generator from which I'll take another piece of lava, and then now we have enough lava to make the whole nether portal and we were able to actually glitch one piece of obsidian using redstone however in this let's play i kind of value redstone more than i value lava because i have much less redstone than i have lava so um yeah and also i really need to save up more redstone for other my for other my builds for uh, for some other builds that i'm planning to do like the afk cobblestone generator so uh, okay, I'm so excited to come and finally complete this. Oh, wait, we have another lava here? Oh, that means that we have already enough lava that I don't even have to take lava from that village over there. In that cobblestone generator over there. And as you can see, I have a bunch more, uh, tons of slime balls from killing a bunch of slimes. And I also got a lot of XP, which I lost mostly, so. Uh, place some cooked chicken over here. Um, the emeralds here. Uh, place the shears right here, iron bars here, um... Okay, now let me see. Let me see here. Oh, I was actually planning to start a melon farm, but I kind of forgot about that. That's weird, because I... I don't really remember when I forgot it, but, uh... I was going to make a melon farm, and I'm thinking of making an automatic one, so should I just make, uh... A regular conventional melon farm or should I just make an automatic one uh, just so I would not have to deconstruct the existing uh, non-automatic one so I don't know uh, let me see here oh yes we have the carrots right here so okay now I do have to place an, a lava source here, so there'd be two lava in the storage here. And I'm gonna go and grab a water source from right here, just because I also need it in the creation of obsidian. Uh, now we did get quite a bit of drops. Let's just go and pick that up. Kill that spider real quick. Uh, hopefully we can fill up that. Hopefully we can fill up to the brim uh, my dispensers that I have. Okay, that 31 is quite a bit of bones there. Yeah, it's filling up. So sooner, sooner or later, we will have it completely filled up. So, um, lava bucket, ladder. So I'm gonna tunnel up right here. Um, this is just how it's gonna go. Um. 
place the lava right over here. A water... Oh. That was really, really bad. I somehow managed to accidentally press Q and burn my water bucket inside the lava. Oh my god. Well, that really sucks. Now we only have one bucket, so... It's gonna be even harder to build up things. And we're not gonna be able to get more buckets until we get an iron farm going or manage to find some more iron in uh, some blacksmith's chests when we explore more vill villages, so... Well, at least we're gonna go to the nether, so that's something. We might get some gold from there, who knows. Um... Okay, now let me deconstruct this part of the uh, casting because we're not going to need it anymore. Uh, let me see. So we're also going to have to place some lava right over here. Actually, no. At first, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to have to put lava right over there, so I'm going to have to go down. Uh, oh, you can already see some of the witches glitching out, so we'll have to go and take care of that real quick. Now I'm going to pour out the water right here. I'm going to have to go and fill it up with the lava. Um, pour the lava inside over there, so let me just take care of that witch real quick. Let's hope it drops some more redstone for our uh, agonies of losing a bucket. And oh wow, I've been waiting for this moment so long. Potion of healing! This is so epic. Actually, I was kind of, I was kind of surprised that we haven't gotten potions of healing from uh, witch drops because in my uh, skyblock world I have quite a bit of potions of healing from um, from witch drops, and I did have much more witches there than uh, and we can already see the effects of potion of healing in the spiders over there. So, uh, but of course in my skyblock let's play I did have much more witch spawners, and just because of how um, spawning mechanics work, I did have much more. Uh, spawns in general, and it was completely automatic because I had the uh, uh, hoppers, which I will add sooner or later as soon as I get enough iron. So, um, but yeah, this is our first potion in the world, so that's nice. Um, that's something to be proud of. Okay, let me place that right here. I just really want to finish this so badly because I've been working to get a nether portal going for a very long time in this let's play. I'm actually surprised how long it took me to actually get the nether portal going because it actually usually takes me much less. And I looked into my statistics section at how long I actually played this so far. And it said that I've played this um, for 0 0.77 days. So... Uh, I played this for almost uh, 24 hours or so, I think so, well according to the statistics, uh, that's how much I played. Um, okay, now we have to put this right here, um, okay we kind of ran out there real quick, so that means I'm going to have to go and grab that as well. Uh, we need one more block, and I'll just put cobblestone here. Um, and this is going to be our last block. Uh, now I'm going to have to go and pour out that water once more. Uh, actually, I'm just going to pour it out here because it's it's too far to run all the way there. So, um, Okay, we got that lava source over there. Just shift-click that. Um, place some lava right here. Uh, jump back down, get that water, cover that hole. Jump back up, and then this is the last piece, guys. And our nether portal is officially finished. This is very epic. Oh, wait, or is it... Or did I mess up on it? Yeah, I think that I completely messed up the whole nether portal build. Oh... Holy crap. Why am I playing this late at night? This is just so horrible, guys. Oh, I'm so... I'm so agitated. How could I not remember? I should know. I have played Minecraft for such a long time. But I still managed to mess this up. Oh, my God. Oh. 
So it looks like we're going to have to get two more lava sources. So uh, I'm going to go and get my um, iron pickaxe and destroy these uh, obsidian blocks that are misplaced. Um, I'll, prob I'll, prob I'll probably come back later when I destroy these, uh, and then I already have enough two lava sources. I could take one from there and take uh, take one from the house, uh, from my house cobblestone generator, and take one from my uh, village over there cobblestone generator. And this time I must not mess up because that way um, I'm not gonna have any more lava left for. Uh, to light the portal. Actually, on the other hand, I'm actually going to have to go and explore more villages because I messed this up since I'm one lava source short of completing it. So, um, I guess this is it for today. Uh, I was really expecting that we were gonna go we, that we were gonna going to go to the Nether this episode. However, due to my horrible incompetence and planning skills, we did not. So. This is mine, Kralix. Uh, I'm going to do some off-camera work, explore some more villages, get some more lava. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this was, uh, I, I don't even know what episode this was, but uh, thank you very much for watching. See you all in the next episode.